Good morning, friends. I'm Ben Hayes, pastor of First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this terrific Tuesday. Uh, do you think of Tuesday that way? Most of us look at Monday and we think, oh, Monday, just can't believe that Monday is here already. But then Tuesday comes along and we know that we're making it a little bit more through the week and have a lot of uh, hope for the weekend. So t- Tuesday is going to be a terrific Tuesday. But what would you say if I told you that every day could be terrific or every day could be terrible? It's all up to you. It's a matter of perspective. Uh, I love the Winnie the Pooh character, uh, Eeyore. You remember Eeyore, the donkey? Uh, Eeyore was the eternal pessimist. And if anybody even noticed he was there, you remember what he would say? Thanks for noticing. You know, I love Eeyore. I love that that expression because I can relate to that so much of, of the time. But here's the truth. The way we are looking at the world, our perspective, will determine a large part of what happens to us. Do you realize that's biblical? It is. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 15, King Solomon says, For the despondent, every day brings trouble. Well, that word despondent is an interesting word because it's talking about the person who, who walks around in this life discouraged, defeated, pessimistic, always seeing the cloud in front of the silver lining. You know that kind of person? That person that no matter what happens in life, they can always find the worst in it. Well, here's the thing. People who look at the world in that way typically find the worst. They find reasons to be discouraged. They find reasons to be defeated because their attitude determines their actions. Their outlook on life determines what happens in life so much of the time. And and I know people like that from all ages, and, and I've dealt with people like that. And the hardest thing to do is to get them to to recognize that simple truth, that the despondent find trouble every day, that the pessimist finds problems every day because it's what they're looking for. But on the other side of that, King Solomon, the wise man who had everything and who knew everything, says, yes, for the despondent, every day brings trouble, but for the happy heart, life is a continual feast. I got to tell you, that means a lot to me because I'm a man who likes to eat. I love food and I would love to be in a continual feast, at least if I could do it and and not be sick or get incredibly fat, you know, those kinds of things. But for the happy heart, life is a continual feast, meaning that when we're happy on the inside, when we've got that positive outlook, when we are optimistic about things, when the glass is is half full and, and not half empty then we look at life and we say, man, this is fantastic. This really is a terrific Tuesday. Now, think about this this morning. When you woke up, what were the first thoughts that crossed your mind? Were you thinking, oh, man, I can't wait to get my day started? Or were you saying, man, I can't believe it's already time to get up? Well, so often that's exactly the way our day goes, the way we get started. So here's the thing. When you look at life through the lens of of optimism and positivity, then you're going to discover some great things happen. You're going to see some victories that maybe you weren't expecting. When you're looking for good things, good things typically will happen in your life. Now, you say, "Well, well, preacher, how does that work? Well, it works because you make good things happen. Our attitude determines our actions. Our outlook determines our, our, our life and, and what happens so much of the time because we do the things that will make the victory. We do the things that will help us to win the battles around us, no matter what it might be. So I want to encourage you today because here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. It is easy for us to look around at our circumstances and say, oh man, I can't believe I've got to wear this mask again today. I can't believe that I can't go see my family today. I can't believe that, that uh, all I'm going to hear on television are political ads, uh, you know, the things that really get you down. And, and you can look at life that way, and you'll find yourself living this day without the joy 
and the hope that Jesus promises. He said, I, I don't just come to give you eternal life. I come to give you abundant life. And that abundant life is a life that is filled with peace and contentment and joy. So remember this, for the despondent, every day brings trouble. But for the happy heart, life is a continual feast of joy and love and peace in the presence of the Father. I hope that you have a great Tuesday. I hope you have a terrific Tuesday. And I hope that it's because you've learned a little bit this morning and you've decided to look at life in the way that God meant for you to live it as a gift that he's given you today. God bless. Have a great day.